So today I am going to explain the third chapter that is data representation and the basic arithmetic. Already these concepts we have studied in first semester that is nothing but in digital electronic subject. The same thing I am just revising here along with that you have some additional concepts right. So first we will see what is this data right. Data is nothing but what from first sem you are studying the definition data is nothing but collection of raw facts right. So whatever you are collecting primarily that is nothing but what data here. So here if I am taking a number 32 right. So primarily just I am collecting here. So here I do not know whether the 32 is the age of a student or it is a register number of a student or it is an ID of an employer. So because of this data is of no useful right and second one is it is not useful in what decision making right. So these are the drawbacks when you are taking considering the data here and when you are coming to this information right. So what is this information is nothing but processed form of the data. I am collecting the data and then I am going to process the data here that is nothing but here I am going to specify age 32 or register number 32 that is nothing but what information so that this information right it is very useful in decision making here that is nothing but information again this data types or you can consider as a data so we have two types that is nothing but the numbers as well as the characters so numbers we know all the digits from what year 0 1 2 3 4 like that etc now characters when you are coming here so characters again it is broadly classified into two types that is nothing but alpha alphabets and special symbols. So alphabets here I am taking what here capital A to capital Z as well as small a to small z and when you are coming to the special symbol here so it is taking plus minus question mark percentage slash so all these symbols will come under what here special symbols and when you are coming to this number system right so when you are coming to the number system so what is this number system here comes the introduction of the concept here so this number system is nothing but set of symbols right so these symbols are known as what here digits number system is nothing but what it is a set of symbols along with the defined rules right so those rules are used for performing the arithmetic operations such as addition subtraction multiplication and division right so what is the number system here this number system is nothing but the set of symbols those symbols are called as a digits here and which include some defined set of rules right which are used for performing the arithmetic operations such as addition subtraction multiplication and division here right so this set of symbols that is group of symbols is represented as what here number right so if i am giving a number is equal to 10.01 i have given again this number is divided in two parts here right so before this decimal it is considered as a integer part and after this decimal it is considered as a fractional part here right so number system it is a ordered set of the symbols called as a digits with the defined rules which are used for performing addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So perform what here? Arithmetic operation and that group of symbols stored under what here? Number. So that number is having again two parts here, integer part as well as the fractional parts. Now coming to this types of the number system. So we have two types of number system that is non-positional number system as well as a positional number system. So what is this non-positional number system again? It is going to include some symbols here. So in olden days we used to use what here? Non-positional number system. So if you want to count the numbers, so fingers were not sufficient to count the larger numbers. So in that case we used to use what here? Stones pebbles or we used to use what here symbols to calculate the value of the number. So best example here you can take that is nothing but the Roman numbers right. Roman numbers will come under what here non-positional number system. So if you take your own numbers Roman numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 right. So what is the drawback in case of this non-positional number system is same symbol see here this symbol is again it is used in what 2 again this symbol is used in 3 number again it is used in the 4th number and one more disadvantage is it does not include any symbol for 0 right here it is used for 1 here it is used for 3 4 right so first one is what the same symbol is used in what in all the numbers and second one is it is not including any symbol for the 0 here. So in that case it is difficult to perform the arithmetic calculations to overcome that only they have introduced what here positional number system right. So number system we have two types non-positional number system as well as a positional number system. So in this positional number system again it is divided into four types here. 
right so in this positional number system the value of the number will be identified by the position in which position it is occupying right if i am giving here number 1020 right so 0 belongs to what here so ones place and so 2 is place in what here tens place and 0 in 100 place ones in 1000 place right positional number system is nothing but what the value of the number is going to be identified by the position right in which position the digit is going to occupy so 0 is placed in what ones position tens position hundreds position as well as a thousands position so for this we are using what here positional number system so if you are coming to here positional number system we have positional number system again broadly classified into four types here right so decimal number system binary number system octal number system and hexadecimal number system right so when you are coming to this first number system that is decimal number system right so what are this so this decimal number system first point it is considered as a positional number system decimal number system is considered as what here positional number system and second one it is going to take the special symbols that is nothing but from 0 to 9 which are called as all here digits right decimal number system is taking what digits from 0 to 9 here so total number how many numbers here that is nothing but what 10 so here we can consider the base of the number system the base of the decimal number system or radix right radix or base so the base of the decimal number system is nothing but what here 10 and the maximum value of each digit within this decimal number system is nothing but what here 9 here from 0 to 9 if you take which is the maximum value that is nothing but the 9 here and the value of the decimal number system is going to be calculated with using what here positive powers of 10 positive powers of what here 10 if i am taking here 23 then 0 1 here so 10 10 to the power of 0 into 3 plus 1 into 10 to the power of 1 like this if we are going to calculating the value of the number now next one is binary number system right so decimal number system so it is a common number system which we are using in regular life here when you are coming to the binary number system what is the speciality means digital computers right computers will store the data in the form of what zeros and ones so in that case we are using what here binary data so here first point again same it is also considered as a positional number system which is going to include the symbols that is zero and one then base of the number system will be what here 2 radix of the number system or the base of the number system will be 2 and here the maximum value of a digit that is nothing but the 1 here again when you are taking the value of the binary number then in that case you are going to take the positive powers of what here zero right if i am taking here 101 binary number system then in that case 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 1 2 to the power of 2 1 into 2 to the power of 2 plus 0 into 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power of 0 right the value of the binary number will be calculated by using what here positive powers of the 2 next one we have octal number system right first point is again same it is considered as what here positional number system second one it is taking the symbols from 0 to 7 so what will be the uh, base of base or the radix of the octal number system it will be 8 right and the maximum value of a digit right that is nothing but what here 7 since here it is going to take what here radix of the number system is what 8 so it is represented as what here 2 to the power of 3 here so if i want to represent this octal number in binary value then how many bits we are using here three bits are used for representing the octal number in binary form here right so this is about octal number system and last one we have that is nothing but what here hexadecimal number system so hexadecimal number system same first point is what it is a positional number system now it is taking the decim it is taking the symbols how many symbols here 16 symbols it is taking what here 16 symbols that is nothing for 0 to 9 and a to f right so 0 to 9 as well as the symbols a to f here right so 0 to 9 10 so next 11th number is represented by a 12 is b 13 is c right so 
so 10 8 10 10 11 12 13 14 15 here right totally so it is going to take what here 16 symbols so the base of the hexadecimal number system is nothing but what it is nothing but the 16 and what will be the maximum value that is nothing but what here f here since the base of the number system is 16 so it is going to include 2 to the power of 4 so how many bits are used 4 bits are used for representing hexadecimal number in the binary form